So, the eight characteristics of romanticism are one, passion or feeling, two, individualism, three, freedom or anti-authority, four, trusting your senses, such as the see, hear, smell, and taste, and touch. Um, the fifth would be a love of fantasy and the exotic. Sixth, a love of nature. Seven, alienated melancholic artists who see themselves as visionaries. And finally, nationalism. For my piece of art, I chose to do Francesco Goya's Saturn Devouring One of His Children. We very much in this piece of art see a display of emotion. We see a sort of grief on Saturn's face. However, he's eating one of his children. So we know that this comes from a place of hurt and rage. However, he does seem to be a little disappointed in the fact that he even has to do this. We also see individualism. As we know, this evokes some sort of feeling from the artist as he himself was also angry at society. This piece also exhibits a sense of freedom. As we all know, eating your children is highly frowned upon, frowned, frowned upon in our society. However, in this painting, Saturn has the freedom or ability to do so as he was afraid of an uprising. In our society, you would go to jail pretty much for the rest of your life if you were to do this. With trusting the senses, we of course see him eating his child as a sense of taste, but we also see his hand tightly gripped around his son's body, a display of touch or feeling. This is a very obvious depiction of love, of fantasy, and the exotic. We see blood pouring out of his son's body. We see an abnormally large thing that sort of resembles a man. And eating your child is definitely something viewed as exotic. While there isn't a huge display of nature in this piece, we don't see any trees or flowers, one could believe that Goya took a different approach to nature. In the animal kingdom, there are many species whose father attempt to eat and kill their children and this could be the display of nature he was going for. The artist himself did seem very alienated from society due to his marriage to a younger woman. Society sort of shunned him or looked down upon him for this. This could also be seen as a political movement as a way of saying the people higher in society are in a way eating or destroying those below them out of fear. Overall, I feel like this is a very interesting painting. And while I personally have never experienced anything like what is being depicted, some could believe or say that society as a whole is experiencing this right now. Generations above us or before us are attempting to kill or silence us or even those in government because our new ideas or this generation's new ideas are so different than what was viewed before in the older generations or those in political power could be intimidated by those ideas or the thoughts of an uprising or change in society. This could be a reverse of the saying, eat the rich, and instead of saying, eat the poor, or those below you, or that's what our government or society today is attempting to do.